it's not really badging bot related stuff, but it's more like just kind of badging update. So um, I guess one thing is there's been a request to provide the, um, you know, the results that we have on GitHub, like all of the go the badges that have been awarded right now, it's in a table. There's been a request to provide that as perhaps like a JSON file that could be uh, used by an application to kind of get that information kind of like via an API um, so that we could take a look at the information more programmatically and less just looking at it on a markdown file. So like, I think it would be a part of the process. I was kind of thinking about this, you know how there's the, the end process that awards the badge like that end trigger could perhaps also write the information to a JSON file. You know what I mean? So like it does a few things and maybe that could be something we add at the end. Yeah, I really don't think, well, I, I say this on behalf of Enoch. <laughs> sure, we can do that, no problem. <laughs> Seems easy. But I, I do know that the end command the slash end um does do a few things and mm -hmm. uh, it like appends the the readme with the new mm -hmm. badge and all of that so i i'm guessing that that would not be an issue to just put that information just into to add a, a new little thing with the end yeah. command yeah. so maybe we could jot that down um Enoch and I still do meet uh, occasionally. So um, if I don't see him around, I can bring this up at our one-on-one -on -one meeting. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So that's that. Um, and then from a badging update, um, we're, we're still continuing to talk with... Uh, folks in the all in project and at GitHub as to how we might go about doing this. So, I mean, really the update is the conversation is growing and I think it's including the right people. Um, and a bit, the biggest issue is, is why trying to answer the question of why uh, we need to recognize projects for their DEI efforts. Like what's the motivation behind this? We have actually some information. I was looking in the DEI minutes from three weeks ago or a couple weeks ago. Um, we do actually have some information in there. We did kind of a brainstorming session as to why project badging or project recognition uh, would be helpful. So I think there's some information in there that I can, I can bring forward. Um, so we are talking to folks at uh, GitHub, or at least that conversation is happening about how we might be able to automate the process around the DEI.md file, and then observing the different headings that are inside of that, that file. So, okay. All right. So that's the update. And I didn't see that you were getting a puppy, Katie. So that's, that is <laughs> really good. <laughs> Puppies are great. I'm flying to North Carolina to pick up the puppy on Monday and come back. That is day. dedication. What kind of puppy is it that requires a trip to North Carolina? Uh, it's a service dog prospect. So it's a nice. standard Labradoodle. Nice. Lots of lots of training and evaluation has gone into this. <laughs> right on. Oh, that's great. Uh, how old is the puppy? Um, eight weeks old. It's been in the evaluation phase for the traits that it needs, and then we start the training as soon as it gets here. Okay. Does the so, puppy have a name yet, or is that? Team? I don't even. I don't even know what gender the puppy is. It's okay. selected <laughs> at the eight week point for me based on the needs. So I will know the day before I get the dog which dog I'm getting. Gotcha. 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 So no, no name yet. <laughs> no. Okay. Surprise! It's a girl, or surprise! It's a boy. <laughs> and then you just go from there. Oh, that's awesome. 
I do hope the puppy will make an appearance at some chaos meeting at some point. <laughs> must be. Oh, of course, yes. We are very dog centric in this. Yes, we community. want puppies, we want our dogs. <laughs> All or right. cats, either one, you know, we're good. <laughs> any kind of animal, we're fine. So that's the badging, badging update. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. Um, looks like we have an update maybe from Anita. Anita's on here, right? Yeah. Yeah, right here. Okay, so I just wanted to say um, yesterday, Matt told me that the, the survey form is good to go so we can actually start distributing it from today and um oh hold on it's not it's not good to go quite oh it's good to go like in the sense that i'm talking to the irb to solve the, the issues that they have okay so sorry if i miscommunicated that if you sent it out we could that's okay i mean okay but, All right. but i would prefer to wait if you can I just, I don't have the official approval yet. Okay, that still works. All the same, okay. the questions are ready. Every other thing is set. And then once I get that hit button, we can start distributing. I also have like um, a Twitter quote, so we can drop this out. So yeah, that's all that I have. So probably just so you know, Anita, the biggest thing that we'll have to add to the survey is um, like a, f I haven't looked at what you have on the survey, but like a form, you know how like when you go to a lot of surveys, they're like, this survey is about this. You can stop the survey at any time. If you have questions about the survey, please reach out to, and then like me or you, you know what I mean? Just like, it's like a consent form that okay. we put. And then once they click consent, then the survey begins. So it's it, it's probably just a page like that. And I'm putting that together. So I'll share that with you. Okay. Um, th does that make sense? Yeah. There. Okay, right on. So I should have that to you shortly. And uh, honestly, it'll probably be by the end of the week when we kind of get this wrapped up. That's, that's what I'm feeling like. Great. Yeah. And thanks for your patience. You're, you're, <laughs> you're having an opportunity to work with uh, the university time timeline process, which is usually a little slower. <laughs> so yeah, I understand. I mean, if it was down here, it would have taken a month or two. <laughs> it just takes forever sometimes here. So I'm working on it. All right, that's fine. Thank you very much, ma'am. All right, awesome. Do we want to move on to the badging website updates? I had just copied this from last week, so or last meeting. So if there's other stuff we want to talk about, drop that in here. Okay. Um. Uh, badging websites. Uh, for the design. Um. Okay. I think maybe we've seen some of those screens, but I'll still share my screen just in case. Uh, although I just, you can also click on the link in the documents to take you to our workspace. So, um, I think um, this is actually one of uh, the recent pages. I, I'm not sure we saw this. Um, I've never before conference. So we have the about uh, budging, we have the events budging page, and uh, we also have apply for budging um, for budge. Right? Um, so at the moment, what we are doing, um, because um, Inok and his team is supposed to start working on the implementation. So um, the design team is currently working on um, the design system for uh, this project and um, component, different components for dif the different part of the project. So that um, um, I think for easy implementation, of course, for future use too. So um, I think uh, Inok is already assigning some tasks to some members of his development team. He's not here to talk more about that. 
but currently um Lamy is here and I think we just had some new designers join our team and so um we are all working on components for this so like icons color buttons level drop down all this design component and all that so we are working at the moment so you can also take a look at the workspace i shared the link on the documents too so maybe you can share comments and let me let me know your feedback <laughs> Rusazan, if you want to say something, or Lamy. For some work. <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> this thing has been, it has been um, very awesome so far. Like, I really like the apply for the badge page. It's very easy and, like, very, very smooth and clean. It's just very easy and smooth. Um, I think if I'm going to speak for Enoch, um so there's it seemed that Enoch is setting up to for to start the building work and they're going to be using like React um on the front end and I think he said Python on the back end part. So um that team is also he's trying to you know finish up with GSOC stuff and then start up the development for the website. But the design so far looks great. I think the um, help we need for the design now is the is the web copy, which I think yeah yeah. So like if you look at the home page, if you can navigate back to the home page, there are some things that um things there and let me put in there out of like there are some things we can change. Like some of the things are not correct. So um, there's a link to the web copy on the Google on the meeting minutes. So we are trying to build up what's the text that will be in all this. Um, so we the, the footer to, to be specific to yeah, also the footer. Yeah. So we start putting in the correct things um in there. So I think that's the help we'll be needing for the web copy. So start putting the correct things in there. Well, yeah, awesome work. Um can stand Lamy. Thank you, Russ. So I think um that's it from my end. I we have questions. Back. I have one question and one comment. Uh maybe two comments. So one, if oh, I agree with Ruth, this is amazing. So thank you for everybody's work on this. It just looks amazing. Um it makes me just really happy to see how far event badging has come <laughs> since <laughs> the early, early days of it. I mean, this just looks fantastic. Um, I really like the testimonial part that you added. So there was somewhere in there. Yeah, I really like that. And I think that's a really great idea to get testimonials from people who are part of the process. I suspect that the folks at the LF would be very happy to, to talk. <laughs> That's true. I can reach out to them. Yeah, that would, I mean, that would be great. Um, but I, I really like that a lot. Um, and then the question was, um, Ruth, on the, the badging website copy page, like, do you, how do you want, um, input on that okay so there's a document if you check the meeting minutes yeah i'm in um, that document right now each page um so on each page you'd see like details for each page on the document so we can start like you can look at the design so there's a link to each page mm -hmm. i think i put in the link so you can look at the design and like gotcha. write up the contents that that page would hold Mm -hmm. uh, say for example like the landing page we have the overview of badging what's what is the text that's going to be in the overview of badging uh, what is the text that's going to be in the overview of the badging levels uh, what's the text that's going to be in the overview of like okay. review so something like that then we can now come in and maybe edit it to look you know presentable to like I think we have some UX writers that can um, look at the work and kind of like make it 
smoothing it up. But I think a chunk of the work is doing, putting in the correct things there because then Kinsley and Lamy, they were having issues because they, they've not been in Baden for a long time. So uh, putting in the correct information was um, kind of difficult. So that's why I created this copy so that people that have been here for a long time can put in the correct information and then we can, you know, edit it to fit in gotcha. like a good web copy. Gotcha, gotcha. So, I mean, I see some of the, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay, um, one more thing is that the general information on the website, we're looking at how it fits exactly into the, um, how we want batch in, the information on the batch and website to look. So if there's anything that we can add or remove, so that would also be a good feedback that we could hear. So just to clarify, you all want the actual text in this one big document or are there gonna be separate Google Docs for each section or? No, no everything, everything will be. Sorry, Lamy. No, go on, you're already saying it. Everything would be on the same doc. Yeah, then we'll now start transferring them to the design. So, or maybe the developers will start doing that. Like when they are building the website, everything will just, you know, be in there. They'll just replicate it. Matt, you're muted. Some of the sections have text already. Yeah, some of them are, if you look, if, if it's correct, right, mm -hmm. then we can just indicate that this section is correct because I think okay. there are some of them down the GitHub org, like say, for example, the um, the steps to become a reviewer or something mm -hmm. like that. I think those ones are kind of correct because they were replicated from the GitHub org. Um, I see, okay, so you just, yeah. that was just, could we in this document then, in the website copy document that you put together, Ruth, mm -hmm. could we kind of mark what you think might be done and what you think might need review and then maybe what might need to be written? Okay, I, I think I can do that. I'll just put in the ones that are correct, review, mm -hmm. and the ones that are empty that needs like... Exactly. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'll do that this week, though, and then That'd I'll get back. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's all we have on the badging website. So maybe by next meeting, we'll have like more updates. <laughs> Sometimes when I see an update like this, I feel bad about my updates. Like this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so thank, thanks again. Okay, so it looks like, um, yeah, that's it's just absolutely beautiful work. Like mind-blowing so thank you um it looks like uh we're okay to move on to the next item which is the stickers katie you, did you no who put that in there i did okay so i did get the stickers at chaos con for the um letters to send out to the reviewers <laughs> yay but and i have those written they're in the envelope they're ready to sent out. I'm headed to the post office to do that in the next couple of days. I was wondering, there are six. Are there any other reviewers? I feel like I am missing some. I don't know if there are others I need to get before I send all of them out. So there's a thread on the badging repo about the recent changes to the process. Do you would it be okay if I just kind of ping everybody again and just say, hey, if you haven't given your address and you want to get a sticker, send it to your email? Would that be okay? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you. Or 
Yeah, I either have them send it to my email or my Slack. Or Slack, okay. Are you, Katie, are you in the uh, Signal group too? There's a Signal yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I got rid of Signal off my phone because I tried to think about my phone. <laughs> okay, I'll just tell them to hit you up on Slack then. I can put my email over here in the... Um, yeah, I always get a little nervous putting emails in GitHub issues just because I don't want someone to start spamming you. <laughs> well, you know? I'm giving the work email that everybody has anyway, and since it's on LinkedIn, just about everybody spams. <laughs> Fair enough. Let me just add an action item for me so I don't forget to do that. And then um, the next item is the t-shirt. So I'm guessing Matt put that in there. I did. So um... So we have uh, new t-shirts. So if you, and I've been sending out some, and this is a, I'm not sending it out to the whole community, <laughs> but I'm happy to send it out uh, to, to the, like some people, um, partly be yeah. just because shipping is really expensive and learning. <laughs> so That's how what, do, how do we, um, uh, get one are you do you have a form no i just need your address and the, the size so if you want to send, send yep you're in omaha right yeah like the other option is i, I think that i'll see uh georg at christmas <laughs> oh i just i'll send it like you're just okay. down in austin that will take like two days to get there i'm <laughs> happy to send it so you can, I think the easiest thing, because I think we're getting towards the end of time, is you can just DM me in Slack if you would like me to send you a t-shirt. I do need your address and I need the size of the t-shirt that you would like. There's small, medium, large, extra large, and double XL are what I have. And this is open. This is that I did, it wasn't just for Katie. This is for people on this call. So <laughs> Kingsley, Ruth, Lammy. Oh, okay. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, just send me a message again. Send me a message in Slack and I'll get that okay. in. Okay. Well, thank you once. Yeah, sure. They're very soft t shirts. It's great. <laughs> okay, I think the only other thing we need to do is figure out who wants to facilitate next time. You can just have Enoch do it again. Yeah, we, we should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to put him down, unless nobody else wants it. If somebody wants it, I'll just put him in there. And I guess we'll, we'll even tell him. Just tag him in the document. Yeah. I'll He'll just, get an I'll email just... saying that he's been commented on. <laughs> <laughs> you have been assigned a task. Uh, awesome. Anything else before we close out the meeting today? All good for me. Awesome. Well, thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Oh, is have there? Fun. I do, I guess, have one. Uh, I'll ask it in the next meeting. It's more general. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, there is a DEI working group meeting for anyone who doesn't know. It's in a couple hours, in an hour, something. One hour. Um, an hour, yeah. All right, we'll see y'all later. Bye. 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 Thank Bye. you. Bye.